Hey guys, remember me? It is Justin M. Frank here. Hope you're doing well. I first and foremost want to thank y'all. We hit a dramatic milestone. 250 plus subscribers. I am so thankful that we are starting to build a community and to show my appreciation. I know the biggest issue currently with my videos is the audio quality. So I've invested $150 in a Shure MV88 microphone that should be here on Saturday that should hopefully enhance the audio quality and make the videos that much better. So thank you for showing your patronage. Thank you for starting to form this community. Uh, I want it to be a great place where people can interact, uh, be themselves, and, you know, treat people with integrity and respect. So I really think it's awesome that we're on the ground floor and we have like-minded people together. So let's communicate. Let's talk. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe starting a Facebook group. Uh, I will let you know about that. But thank you for your support so thus far, and it will continue to get better from here. So thank you. But the main topic of this video today is is about what I would take on a late night walk when I'm just in a t-shirt and jeans, simple clothing, no belt, you know, going around the neighborhood or maybe through some light woods. What would I be carrying on me at a late night walk? Well, first and foremost, probably most important to me is a knife over 3.75 inches, a fighting knife, something that you can use well to defend yourself. For example, the Benchmade Infidel. This is a 3.9 inch knife, D2 steel. This one happens to be double, so the Infidel is double sided, so be careful with your laws on that, but this is a fantastic fighting knife if you need to defend yourself. So that's the first thing I would take with me on my walk. Next would be just a EDC knife, something I could use simply. Uh, I chose to pick something light here as an example. This is the model 0022 uh, or 22 from Zero Tolerance. A little flipper, tiny nice little blade. You know, just the EDC knife, 20 CV steel on this. Um, and just something easy and light to carry is what I would go for my second knife. But also just good if I needed to do some cutting or something basic. Uh, so that's the second thing I'm carrying on my walk. Next, let's talk flashlights. First, I would carry a smaller rechargeable light. Generally, when I take walks, I like to carry rechargeable lights because, you know, batteries cost money and I am walking long distances often. So I use the lights that are rechargeable because then I just charge when I get home and I do have additional batteries for my rechargeable lights. Um, not that I don't break out a disposable light occasionally, but I would take something small like this, but also powerful. This puts out a max lumen output of a thousand um, and a minimum of half a lumen. So you got a lot of uh, variety with this and uh, it's magnetic. Great, you could put it on your hat if you wanted to. A lot of things that could be done with this. So really kind of like a backup light. You'll see in a minute, the main light, but it's something that's really versatile. Like again, the S1R Baton 2 from Olight, which is a fantastic light. All right. Next, I would bring a larger flashlight, something that I'm probably gonna carry. Uh, I would put a lanyard on it, uh, just so I could throw it around my wrist or maybe a pocket clip like I have attached to this Surefire Fury. This only has one mode, 1500 lumens, and it's a beast. Um, it's Surefire lumens, so it's a little bit brighter, I think, than the other companies' lumens. But this is a tough light. I would want to take this light uh, as a defensive light. Uh, you know, it has a little bit of a uh, knurling right here where you could hit somebody with it if you needed to. And it's just larger in the hand where you could backhand grip it if you needed to, if you decided to use it as a defensive uh, mechanism because light is a great defensive tool. People highly underestimate the value of tactical light use, uh, in my opinion, at least. So I would carry one larger light like this that I would be using as my primary flashlight. I probably wouldn't be shining it the whole time, but just periodically to see what's ahead. And that, because you, I am giving away my position with the light, but with the light like this, if I was in a comfortable neighborhood, maybe it would shine it the whole time. Just depends. This is running on a rechargeable battery. Just unscrew this. Well, I'll show you. you. Unscrew this tail cap and pull out the battery. It is a 15 or 3500 milliamp. Uh, 12.6 uh, watt, I think, uh, rechargeable battery. So it's 18650 in size. You can see it does have a micro USB uh, rechargeable port right there that you just plug in. And uh, that's, that's how you charge it. So simple as that. So you got fighting knife, you got EDC knife, 
you got your backup light, and you got your main defensive light. And the final two things I would take with me on my walk if I was walking late at night is first, a small firearm, something that's easy and light to carry. For example, this is a Smith & Wesson 638 air weight. So I'll take it out of its leather holster, go ahead and unload this gun for safety reasons. Put those to the side, see the gun is clear. And an, a nice light small gun like this offers to some protection in an emergency if something were to arise, but also is not gonna weigh you down too much, uh, especially if you're not wearing a belt. That's why I have a holster with a clip on so you could just attach it to your waist. Um, Inside the waistband, easy to carry. Again, that air weight, this gun is pretty light. Um, I do have an aftermarket grip on here. I like a larger purchase of a little bit bigger size hands. So I put these rosewood grips on here so I can get a better grip uh, for me than the factory grip provides. So yeah, a small firearm and a holster that is clippable is the second to last thing I would bring. And the final thing I would bring is my Plantronics 5200UC headset uh, or any other uh, one ear headset for two reasons. One, it allows me to play music, podcast, book, uh, whatever in my one ear and keep the other ear open. And then two, if I need to make any calls or anyone wants to call me, I have a microphone at the ready and I don't have to hold my phone up. So this is what I'll be carrying or rather wearing uh, as my final EDC uh, thing for my walk. And I guess. Maybe while I'm thinking about it too, if, if I was in a mood where I was remembering things, I would grab a lighter just in case you never know in the outdoors if you need to light something. So this is a mini uh, DuPont lighter right here. Really nice lighter. So yeah, I'd maybe grab a little lighter too. And that'd be it. That's what I'd be taking on my light light walk. So I hope uh, this stimulates some conversation. Let me know what you take on your late night walks or what you would do in my, that situation I just laid out. And let's uh, see how we compare. Thank you again for your patronage. I hope we continue to expand. I know we'll do great. Uh, we're uh, success ahead. I know it. So thank you so much. Again, I appreciate you. You're the best. Take care. Have a fantastic rest of your day.